If Monday morning really is just a state of mind, then why is it always so damn hard to get your brain to play ball? No matter how you approach it, the odds always seem to be stacked against you. It usually goes something like this. Wake up, brush your teeth, eat breakfast, grab a tea or coffee, and leave the house, right? If those horror stories look like something that would happen to you, stick around as we take a look at some more <clears throat> perfect ways to kick off a Monday morning. Okay, so maybe you snoozed your alarm 10 times, but you're finally up. Good job, buddy. The first thing most of us reach for on a Monday morning is a tea or coffee. Somehow, I don't think you're gonna get that sweet hit of caffeine by making it like this, though. Still, it could be worse. This poor unfortunate soul managed to drop their favorite mug entirely, along with all the sweet hot coffee inside it. Time to head back to bed, I say. Coffee isn't for everyone, and a glass of refreshing fruit juice can be just as invigorating. Let's just hope there was more juice in the garden for whichever dough-brained person tried to pour themselves a glass upside down. Then again, this so-called blueberry juice looks more like that gloopy Teletubby custard to me. So maybe it was for the best. When it comes to breakfast, the options are pretty much endless. The go-to option when you're in a hurry is a good old bowl of cereal. Now imagine reaching into the cupboard only to find that your roommate has decided to leave the box rolled up like this. Unless you happen to be living with the Incredible Hulk, I'd say this is some cause for serious concern. Some people prefer to go down a healthier route in the morning by whipping up a nutritious smoothie instead. But if this poor person proves anything, it's that sometimes trying to do right by your body just isn't worth the hassle. Legend has it, that banana is still twirling away to this day. It just won't go down without a fight. To make sure you get your five a day in before bedtime, it's probably best to get started on the fruit in the morning, but sometimes it seems like fate has other plans. Things definitely took a turn for the worse for this person when they broke their apple slicer and accidentally created the world's most dangerous apple. This weapon brings a whole new meaning to the phrase fruit ninja. For most of us, the bathroom is the first place we visit in the morning. Could there be anything more perfect than setting foot into a carpeted paradise whose coral covering goes so far to run up the bathtub walls? You've gotta give the owner of this bathroom some serious props for their perfectly preserved 70s styles decor. Extra points for the terrible wallpaper. Anyone would be well within their rights to be offended by that outdated bathroom, but this toilet seat is a step too far in my book. Just the water effect look would be enough to have you jumping up from the throne in fear that the whole thing had been victim to a total splash fest. If you thought that was uncomfortable enough, you should be thankful that you've never needed the bathroom in a house with this toilet cover. Some people are just plain cruel. Brushing your teeth is probably the most important part of any morning. Even the most lethargic brains could figure out how to put toothpaste on a brush. What could go wrong, right? Well, this for starters. Something tells me the five second rule doesn't apply here. A stick of gum will have to do, I guess. If you thought dropping your brush in the bog was bad news, try this on for size. It's a good job this poor unfortunate soul managed to notice this eight-legged fiend before it was too late. Picture this. You wake up with a foggy head, stumble into the bathroom, and brush your teeth as usual. Before you know it, you turn up to work and flash a grin riddled with spider legs. Day ruined instantly. Psst. Hey, you. I'm gonna let you in on a little secret about how to get the perfect start to your Monday morning. You see that little bell icon up there? Why don't you go ahead and give it a click? That way you can be notified whenever the latest Be Amazed content is uploaded, which is sure to brighten any day. It's really that simple. Oh, and you should show that like and subscribe button some love too. Treat yourself. Now let's get back to it. One of the most mundane parts of every Monday morning is the commute to work, especially if you live in a big city. We've all had a moment where we found ourselves running desperately for the bus or a train, and this image really personifies the phrase, so close, but yet so far. Seems like someone stopped to grab lunch, only for that lunch to make it onto the train without them. That sandwich is totally saying, eat my dust, sucker. Losing your lunch probably isn't the end of the world, but this unfortunate Brazilian commuter will probably be replaying this humiliating moment in his mind for the rest of his life. 
this unnamed man really tried his best to board this busy train in Sao Paulo, despite how crammed it was, and he almost fit in. But not all of him made it. Next time you think you can squeeze aboard, spare a thought for this poor dude. The subway is a lawless land where just about anything goes. Case in point, this entire cooked chicken that has been inexplicably strapped to the tap in, tap off scanner. Who has the time or energy to waste such a precious item like this? And more importantly, why? Just imagine that conversation at work. Sorry boss, I was late because I couldn't scan my card on the rotisserie chicken. Sounds like a valid excuse to me. If you happen to live in this apartment building, you'd probably struggle to get out at all thanks to this mind-melting elevator, let alone coming back in after a heavy night on the town. Which way's up? What's even real anymore? Am I in the matrix? The best part is the warning that reads, do not use lift if there is a fire. No kidding, you wouldn't stand a chance. Eggs are an absolute breakfast staple but there are so many ways this oh-so-simple dish can end in total disaster. If you're not fully alert, cracking an egg and totally missing the pan is a mistake that is far too easy to make. If you thought that was infuriating, just imagine the sinking feeling the so-called chef of these fried eggs felt when the lid of the pepper shaker fell off mid-sprinkle. Just a little seasoning and, ah, oh, crap. Hey, that's almost like what happened when God tried to add a little cool to my personality. Have you ever had a total disaster like this? What's the worst thing that's ever happened to you in the morning? I don't know about you, but hearing about other people's problems somehow always makes me feel slightly better about myself. Go ahead and share your funniest Monday morning story in the comments below, and I might even get back to a few of my favorites. Even if you do manage to crack your eggs into the pan without drenching them in seasoning, you might still end up seeing something like this staring back at you. I don't know about you, but this really seems like the universe's way of telling you that Mondays just aren't your thing. If you're more of a sweets kind of guy, pancakes are probably more your thing when it comes to that all-important first meal of the day. Whether it's lashings of maple syrup and bacon or blueberries and yogurt, pancakes make everything better. Unless you eat them like this, that is. Seriously, if you choose to eat pancakes or waffles like they have some invisible crust, you deserve to have this happen to you, and I don't say that lightly. The millennial go-to for breakfast, or pretty much any other meal of the day, is the humble avocado. But good luck getting a plate of Instagrammable smashed avo on toast with this bad boy. If there was ever such a thing as fruit lottery, this person just lost it. Oh, and yes, avocados really are a fruit. Look it up, dude. Good personal hygiene is always important, but especially in the morning when you've just woken up feeling all gross and sleep ridden. One of the first places you'll want to head to is the sink, but scrubbing yourself clean is going to be a pretty tough task when your tap is so infuriatingly placed like this one. But if you thought that was a design flaw, check out this stinker. Honestly, do the people who install these things even check to see that they're practical and not some one-way ticket to a flooded bathroom? Forget the terrible sinks. Which dough brain designer thought this shower would be totally fine to use? Isn't the whole point of a shower drain so that the water can run downwards? Unless there's been some groundbreaking change in the basic laws of physics since I last checked, I'm pretty sure water doesn't have the ability to just climb stairs. Now there's something you should be thankful you don't have to deal with in the morning. Even if you manage to make it through your morning routine at home without fog, there are still countless things that could go wrong when you make it into the outside world. Case in point, this dude who decided to approach these geese in blissful ignorance of the sign that clearly states, aggressive geese keep walking. Who knows what the geese have to be so angry about, but I can't say I feel too sympathetic towards the dude who decided to try his luck. Next up on the list of things you should probably just leave alone, especially in the morning, porcupines. When 50-year-old Antonio Rodriguez hosted a party at his home in Rio de Janeiro and discovered his pregnant wife was afraid to enter the house because a porcupine was blocking the doorway, he thought he'd try and be the hero. Like any goofy knight in shining armor, Rodriguez leapt to his wife's aid by walking up and slapping the porcupine out of the way and ending up with a handful of quills in the process. After having the 400 quills carefully removed and given three shots of anesthetic and a tetanus shot, Rodriguez walked away with nothing but a herd bride. Grocery shopping is a total chore for most people and it really doesn't help when the local store starts pulling stupid stunts like this. So is the lime juice now packaged in lemon containers and vice versa or what? Oh, and what about this absolute doozy? 
I mean, come on now, guys. How hard can it be to read the box before you dump a load of pumpkins in there? Unless, of course, this is some mutant watermelon pumpkin hybrid? In which case, color me intrigued. I'm not even gonna comment on this one. It's just getting ridiculous now. Just as that's shaking off the morning headache, too. Picking up the wrong kind of fruit juice because of some bad labeling might not be the end of the world, but this has all the makings of a truly disastrous cock up. If you hadn't had your morning coffee before reaching into the cupboard, you'd probably be left wondering, why does this bacon taste so dang strange? Though you might not be around long enough to find out why. While we're on the topic of insect spray, there's nothing quite as frustrating as being kept awake all night by the incessant buzzing of some pesky mosquito. Now imagine waking up with a sheer determination to eliminate the little bladder, only to get a little too overexcited and end up doing something like this. It's an impressive feat, but for all the wrong reasons. If you've got a bigger pest problem on your hands, like a load of bees or wasps setting up camp in your digs, you'll need to call in the big guns. Or maybe not. Sometimes it seems like some greater power really is laughing at us from above. Well, I guess it's time to just throw the whole house away. People often say that you should capitalize on your potential productivity in the morning, but sometimes life just has other plans. This display screen is enough to strike fear into the heart of anyone born in the internet age. And to make matters worse, they've disabled the dinosaur game. Is there nothing good left in this world? When your internet goes down, there's only one thing to do. Go old school. That is, unless the world seems like it's out to get you and your only pencils look like these suckers. Let's say you manage to get those pencils working by some miracle. What are the chances the erasers on the other end turns out to be good for nothing saboteur by pulling this old trick? Why, cruel world? Why? Ever heard the phrase, tidy workspace, tidy mind? This fool clearly hasn't. I know some people will claim their desktop is just organized chaos, but if you ask me, a mess like this one is a telltale sign of a psychopath. Hey, I don't make the rules. We've all been guilty of skipping breakfast and going straight for lunch on those days when you're just rushed off your feet. Pizza is a go-to for hitting that quick and easy sweet spot, but what kind of psychopath slices into a cheesy wheel of goodness like this? Just when you thought that was an isolated incident of offending cutting, Check out this billboard. You cannot be serious. I would have loved to be in the marketing meeting when that decision was made. Some mornings there's nothing better than going out for a walk to clear your head, but I seriously don't recommend walking on this path. <laughs> there's so much going on here, I'm not even sure where to look. Besides the danger of being run down by a cyclist, the developers seem to have failed to notice the giant tree in the middle of the path. And what's with the arrow? Do they expect you to climb it? Running errands is an unavoidable part of life, but they can be extra hard on a Monday morning. Just ask the fool who decided to machine wash their feather pillows without reading the label, only to return to discover what looks like a pigeon massacre in a tumble dryer. I guess they'll be sleeping pillowless tonight. Speaking of errands, what could be worse than picking up the birthday cake you ordered only to get home and then this happens? Looks like it's time to put your cake decorating skills to the test or that's gonna be one disappointing birthday celebration. I think I speak on behalf of most of us when I say my head isn't properly screwed on in the morning, but this is quite the impressive feat for anyone. She probably started brushing her hair only to realize she hadn't fed the cat and then forgot all about the giant hairbrush sticking out the back of her head. If you ask me, the fact that she made it onto the bus without anyone telling her about it says more about our society than it does this poor sleepy soul. Accidentally throwing on a pair of odd socks in the morning is an easy mistake to make, but it took this dude a full four hours at work to realize his shoes didn't match. Hey, for effort, buddy. Let's just hope the boss doesn't notice and withdraw that promotion offer. Still, nothing could be worse than getting clocked on a packed commuter train for having your jeans on backwards. It must have been a tough morning for this trooper. When you draw back the curtains to find the sun shining and the birds chirping, it can be tempting to try and work outside. It always seems like a great idea until the brightness of the outside world prevents you from seeing your screen. Oh, and then something like this happens. Still, you've got to applaud whichever bird did this for their incredible aim. Sometimes I think designers purposely mess up just to annoy people who haven't had enough sleep. Take a look at the wobbly tiling in this mall and you'll see what I mean. 
It's like they want people to feel queasy as they focus all their energy on walking in a straight line. The same goes for this inexplicable mailbox, which looks like a game of Tetris gone wrong. Okay, maybe I'm just a little cranky today. So what? Leaving the house in the morning isn't usually something that's done in a calm and collected fashion, but this truly is the stuff of nightmares. If anything screams, this day is a total write-off, it's a snapped key, right? This is probably the part where most people would turn and slide down the doorframe, sobbing uncontrollably. Happy Monday! I think we can all agree that whoever invented the snooze button should have their name up in lights, right? No matter how many alarms you set, the temptation is always there to get five more minutes kit. Unless you're this person, that is. It's really no surprise that darned alarm kept going off. No matter how many times you smash that lotion bottle, it just ain't gonna work. Most people are like zombies for a solid hour after waking up, and it takes something pretty major to snap out of it. Like, oh, I don't know, a dead nude at the bottom of your favorite mug? Believe it or not, this poor, poor guy managed to get all the way through his morning tea before questioning why it tasted so foul. Can you even imagine the horror of peering down inside to see this poor fella at the bottom? <laughs> Who knows when he crawled in and died, but one thing's for sure, breakfast is definitely off the menu. One way to counter the Monday morning blues is to treat yourself to a bit of pampering. Whether that's a bubble bath, a slap up breakfast, or a fresh manicure. Wait, what? Who knows what happened to turn these picture perfect nails into something out of Nightmare on Elm Street? All I do know is that I can't look away, no matter how much I want to. Imagine forgetting about these bad boys and then scratching a niche where the sun don't shine. <laughs> That's a trip to the ER just waiting to happen. Jigsaws are a great relaxation technique for many people, but this one is enough to make anyone want to tear their hair out in frustration. You'd have to be some kind of maniacal genius to solve this puzzle to begin with, but getting to the end only to realize there's one piece missing? That's grounds for spontaneous combustion. Making it out of the house is only half the battle. Sometimes life just loves to send bad omens our way, like this. Seems like there was a fork in the road, and even the kitchen utensil is giving you the middle finger. Still, it could be worse. This poor person didn't even manage to start the car before a giant plant pot dropped out of the sky and crushed it. It's times like these when you really regret ever leaving the comfort of your own bed. So there you have it, some oh so perfect ways to kick off your Monday morning. I'll bet after seeing some of these doozies, you're feeling slightly smug about your own disasters, right? Well, if laughing at other people's expense is kind of your thing, boy, have I got a treat for you. Just check out one of these videos, which are about people who are having a much worse day than you are. Trust me, you don't want to miss out. And as always, thanks for watching.